Alright guys, what's up, how's it going, it's Iron Man here, and today obviously you can tell I'm just zoomed in on my iPhone, um, this is going to be an application review, I know you haven't seen uh, any type of video like this from me for quite some time, actually a few months, but I'm going to start doing these regularly now, and uh, and uh, hopefully you guys will uh, start watching them again and enjoy it. This one is, obviously you can tell, an application review on Glowball. This just recently came out in the App Store, and I'm actually uh, loving the game but there are some flaws so let's get into this application review right from the icon I liked it it has that splatter paint slash neon effect and I already knew this is going to be a great unique game now you're prompt with a pretty cool loading screen it just gives you many different various colors we're going to go to the main menu so here it is uh, right off the bat I noticed there wasn't any uh, music sound in the background uh, a lot of applications do have that it's not very needed but um, it does help with the gameplay a little bit. Now, uh, you have three simple, very simple options. You have you go into the options and you have you can view your saved scores, reset the game, and uh, just your very basic uh, options for the gameplay and whatnot. You also have your levels, which I thought was really cool because they set this up just like the iPhone and iPod Touch itself. You simply we're not going to allow. You simply scroll over and you can go to all the levels. And uh, there's over 40 levels, and it shows you your score overall and what you're at right now. And obviously, you can choose a level to play if you want to go ahead and go back to it. So we're going to go to the main menu. The reason it asks you if you want to locate your area is because this game is global, which is a really nice game for coming out. Uh, a lot of applications do not embed this uh, feature until later on in the later on in the uh, application process so I really like that they did that now this is a very high intensity game and requires um, different I don't want to say skill more so of well here let's get back to the main menu I don't want to play on level 5 I want you to guys see level 1 from the beginning so we're gonna go play in level 1 now the object of this game is uh, to use the accelerometer built in with the device and you are this glow ball and basically I know it's kinda hard to see on camera but you guys can see that pretty good uh, basically the object of the game is to knock out all of these colors every single square and you advance to the next level sounds pretty easy right but it does get harder over time as you can see this spike dude kind of eye ball that watches you if you run into this you do lose a life now they do have the option of getting caught in certain ones some of them have spikes some of them is just a black hole now if you get caught in the black hole you can simply shake the device and that's a really cool feature because it lets you get out of it this is what it looks like when you beat a level it's really unique it just comes up in the screen it's a very user friendly interface the colors are just awesome so we're gonna go ahead and click OK and we're gonna move on to level two Right now it doesn't let, normally you wouldn't do this, it would just let you go to the next level, but I'm starting over again. Um, what I really like about this game, which is really cool, which a lot of applications do not embed in there, is being able to listen to your iPod. Uh, it lets you listen to your music, but it ke still keeps the sound of the game in the background. Well, that's really cool because it kind of muffles the sound and it still lets you play the game as you listen to the music which I thought was really cool now obviously you saw these squares that give you more um, points because obviously it said times three you have different various upgrades within these squares that uh, indicate by pictures so you do you do a lot of different various things now these gold coins I guess you can say in the middle you do not have to run over but you do have to get them they're sort of I guess you could say magnetic a lot of you guys know what that is already you can kind of see they just sort of drag to me and uh, right there in the top right corner it just showed me that I had five we're gonna go ahead and get this bomb and it basically turns every square to ice and blows it up so like I said there's a bunch of different various uh, upgrades you can get with this which uh, which I found was really cool they don't just limit you to um, one simple upgrade which is cool now you can, again it shows your coins every time you um, gather some so let's go ahead and gather some more and there it is once you gain 25 you do gain one extra life on this level which happens quite often 
and the object of the game is to not only get every square but every gold coin in that level pack as well so once you finish that you advance to the next level and it's really simple the gameplay is really um, easy so if you're uh, a, a younger person and you happen to find this in the app store this is great for you as well because it's not that challenging it's not based on a specific age which I found was really cool that they did that now obviously you can see these spike balls you do not want to run into it it's not that hard at first but it does get a little bit more challenging as you advance and move on to the next levels obviously so we're gonna go ahead and go to level four and we'll talk about the gameplay a little bit more now the reason it asks you if you want to show your live scores in global is because again like I said there is global scores so it, it's all around the world and that little globe that you saw actually lights up for where people are playing which is a great feature this game the developers of this app Okay guys, I'm very sorry about that. My camera actually died, but I charged it up a bit, so let's just finish up with this review. As I was saying before the camera died, um, I stated that the, the developers of this application did in fact not leave anything out before they submitted this application to the App Store. They made sure it simply had every uh, feature you could possibly want in an application and this application is simply great for any casual gamer that is looking for something in the app store now the best part about this application is it's only 99 cents as of right now um, sadly this is only an introductory price so if you're interested in this if you're even slightly interested in this and you're thinking about getting it I would go ahead and grab it before the price increase because um, as of right now I do not know the price uh, set as of when it changes now there is one thing that I did see with this application that wasn't really a downfall but maybe an addition or an add-on that they may be thinking of doing um, obviously you know since it is an uh, accelerometer application that requires you to tilt the device whichever direction you would like it to go this obviously restricts you from playing it in certain areas as far as maybe laying down uh, sitting uh, at a certain position uh, just various uh, situations whatever they may be now uh, a thing that I thought of was I wish or maybe they would in a later date would add a feature to actually control the ball with your finger now this may seem like it would make the game a little bit easier and it would kinda defeat that purpose but again it's just an add-on option that I think um, this game should have as an addition because as far as laying down goes I was not able to play this and it was a downfall and as far as the replay value it is good but as as much as I do not want to say this it does get repetitive over time so getting once you're getting to like level six eight it's gonna get pretty boring to you as far as playing it in a straight amount of time goes but as far as coming back to it it's always gonna leave you coming back because you're always gonna want to beat your high score and, and um, enjoy a game just like this for 99 cents you definitely cannot complain because this brings every feature you could ever want in an application if you're looking for a, a strategy game but um, and that involves the accelerometer that lets you enjoy everything you could ever want for the iPhone and iPod Touch I would definitely check this out if you're not into accelerometer games and you like playing games and stuff like that when you're laying down in certain uh, situations I would definitely not go and check this out because this probably isn't going to satisfy you in, in that uh, specific area but this is it that was my application of Global. I hope you guys enjoyed it um, sorry I'm a little rusty I'm just getting back um, I'm going to send this video out to the developers and we'll see if we can get some promo codes going for you guys for those of you who'd like to enjoy this but um, I'm not promising anything we'll see how that goes uh, again I hope you guys enjoyed it this is Iron Man and I'm gonna sign out now and I'll catch you guys later peace Oops.